right from the start, it was hard going. At times, millions of tons of ice discharged from the glacier, made trips to the beach difficult. We had some narrow escapes. I fell in a crevasse, and if the lads hadn't pulled me out, <laughs> why, I'd still be in cold storage. When the wind swept the water, clear of ice for a bit, we rushed our machinery ashore to help the dogs and sleds. Even the very sand for the Puri Monument had to be screened, bagged and bolted eight miles. Why, in fact, everything but the stones had to be carried to the top. But with the dogs and Eskimo on the job, we kept at it. Just as the discovery of the North Pole was made possible only by Eskimo and dogs under Peary's guidance, so the monument, to his memory, was made possible by the same means. The husky dogs earned their grub on this trip, pulling their hearts out on the slippery ice. We had to be careful about overloading or we'd have lost too many dogs. As it was, a couple of my best dogs fell in a crevasse, like the one that nearly got me and we never saw them again. The gasoline hoister did the work dogs and men couldn't. But even with the engine helping out, it was some job Believe me. And here's the camp, near the site of the monument, where everybody bunked and ate. At least once a day, Tommy regaled all hands with seal, fresh from the ice. And while we ate seal, the Eskimo ate raw walrus, full of vitamins. Next week, we'll all hunt walrus.